Hello everyone, I'm Adrian, and today we'll be talking about our newly proposed efficient single person human pose estimation method, the yes, soft gated skip connection. Human pose estimation is a process of accurately localizing a set of key points that roughly define the pose of a person, giving an RGB or a grayscale image as an input. The landmarks correspond usually to the location of major joints of a human skeleton. There are too many approaches for doing it. The top-down methods take a two-staged approach consisting of a person detection component and a single person pose estimation one that is run for each produced bounding box. The second type, the bottom-up approach, detects the joints of each person and their location jointly. While initially the later was performing better for cases where multiple person overlap, the recent advantage in object localization largely swinged the lead in the other direction. Our method is part of a top-down methods family. Most of the current methods use fully convolutional networks with encoder-decoder structure that often gradually define upon an initial prediction. In such cases, the ground truth landmarks are represented using a set of key heat maps with a 2D Gaussian centered around the location of the key points. These settings is easier to learn and is more natural both for the convolutional network and humans to interpret. More recent methods propose complex pipeline either using carefully designed networks or using generative neural networks to either augment the data or enforce stronger relationship between the parts of the body. In parallel with the ever-grown demand of on-device AI, a series of work attempted to improve the efficiency of current approaches by either making use of network quantization and compression or by designing better network topologies, as is the case of CUNets, for example, where UNETs are combined with DanceNet. In our work, with minimal changes to the already established hour of glass structure, we propose to look at an often overlooked component, the skip connection mechanism, analyzing its potential detrimental effect and proposing a solution to elevate this. Starting from a hierarchical parallel structure building block proposed on our ICCV work on binary networks, we propose to add a per channel soft gated mechanism that will control the amount of data that should flow from the previous layer. While skip connections are generally beneficial, they can also hinder the training process since they indirectly force a new function to take into consideration the full output of the previous layer, learning typically small increments on top of the already learned function. As the figure show, most of the values of the gates are close to zero, in fact, inhibiting the corresponding channel. Similarly, on the bottom right, we can see the distribution of activations before and after the gating. Notice what the magnitude of a signal is significantly diminished and the value squeezed out around zero. Overall, this alone can improve accuracy against the baseline by 1% in terms of PCK age on the MPI dataset. Our of our architecture largely follows the hour of glass original idea. We use a cascade of four networks that use a previously presented building block. In addition to this, we explore a few different ways of combining the information from multiple resolutions. As the results show, concatenating the data coming from different resolutions works better than simply summing it directly. We also tested a group convolution approach that performs similarly well in our test on the MPI dataset. In terms of efficiency, when compared to the very efficient already CUNET architecture, our method outperforms it across various computing resources regimes. Furthermore, when compared to current state-of-art methods, our method uses a significantly smaller model while achieving better or comparable performance. When compared against prior work, our method sets a new state-of-art result on the MPI dataset. We note that improving the performance further is limited by the dataset size and content. By using additional data for pre-training, we show that the performance can be further increased. Furthermore, this shows that our model can scale well its accuracy as the data set grows. Similar results can be observed on the LSP dataset, where our approach outperforms all prior methods. Thank you for your time and attention. If you have 
any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.